<laughs> Hello everybody! Welcome to Illustrator Jones once again. Yeah, thank you for coming back and watching my videos. Today we're going to be drawing something very, very strange. Yes, it's a scribble sketch. And I drew the scribble and out came, well you know what it is, because it's on the title. Yeah, it is Oompa Loompas that have turned into zombies. And when an Oompa Loompa turns into a zombie, they don't all only eat people, they also grow very, very, very big. <laughs> They're only Diddy. And then they get really big. So yeah, these Oompa Loompas have eaten some contaminated nuclear chocolate and have been testing with things that they shouldn't have been testing with and have made a big mistake. So uh, in the picture you'll see them chasing Willy Wonka who has been driven by Seamus Gumshoe on a little machine. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please subscribe and please leave a like because it really helps this channel grow. It's, you know, I want it to grow so that I can do it permanently if possible and uh, you know, not just a pastime, because I enjoy it very, very much. So please leave a like, subscribe, and if you feel like it, you can join me on Patreon as well to support the channel. So thanks for watching, everybody. Let's get drawing. See you soon. Now, where the heck was I? <laughs> Hello, everybody. And here we go. There's the scribble sketch. So how's everybody doing? Yeah, I did that drawing and not entirely sure what I was going for, but uh, it, got, it does get worse in it. There you go. Yeah. I'm, uh, what can I say? Anyway, they are Oompa Lumpers. Um, zombie Oompa Lumpers. So, yeah, uh, what it is, my kids went to see the movie, well, the girls did, and Rebecca, I didn't go and see it, and then I was really glad I didn't go and see it, because I found out that it's a blinking musical. Uh, my daughter, who's not fussed on musicals, <laughs> Rosianna, <laughs> she sat there, in the very first couple of minutes, there was a song, and she sat there going, oh, no. Anyway, they did enjoy it. And I, I, I saw a little clip of um, Hugh Grant playing the Oompa Loompa, which um, was quite funny. So, I, and I wanted to draw it, but I didn't draw the um, the scribble sketch to draw Oompa Loompas. I was got, they were meant to be teeth and a giant mouth. Anyway, that's what it turned into. I obviously had Oompa Loompas on the brain. Or, well, as it's properly pronounced, Oompa Loompa. Not a umpa lumpa, but umpa lumpa. Yeah, not spelt the way I thought it was. Anyway, how is everybody? I hope you're all okay. I hope you've had a lovely week and your weekend's going well. Or your weekend's gone well, because by the time you watch this, it's on a Sunday evening. But then again, you could be watching this at any time, couldn't you? Yeah, so I also fancy drawing a Vespa scooter with sidecar. Have you seen how cool those things are? They're like little, it's like a little spaceship stuck to the side of the um, the scooter. I thought, oh, that's fantastic, that. So I was dying to draw Seamus Gumshoe on a scooter, and then I realised, well, if there's Oompa Loompas in this picture, I've got to draw um, uh, Willy Wonka. And... Uh, <laughs> oh, by the way, <coughs> just getting over COVID. That's why I'm a bit coffee. And uh, yeah, it's still there. And what, week four or week three, week three, going into week four, still coughing. Thing is, I passed it on to the kids. Oh gosh, they're not happy with me, I can tell you. <sighs> anyway, here we go. I'm gonna draw um, Willy Wonka and his umbrella and it, loosely based on the not the character from the new film because I don't know what he looks like but the one by um, is it Gene Wilder um, who played him originally I think it was in the 60s was it could have been the 70s actually 
Not, no, I think it was late 60s, possibly. Anyway, so I had this idea of drawing... Gi I wanted to draw giant Oompa Loompas and pretend that they've been messing around with things that they shouldn't be. They've been mucking around with science. And instead of making, you know, using normal ingredients, they used nuclear waste in their chocolates. And then they tried it themselves and turned themselves into flesh-eating giant Oompa Loompa zombies. Yeah, and that's where I went with it. So I bet you, this morning, when you woke up, you never thought, I know, you know, I feel like watching zombie Oompa Loompas today being drawn. You know, I bet you didn't think that, did you? No, not one of you. <laughs> well, I have filled a hole in your life. I have filled that want, that need, that desire to see zombie Oompa Loompas. Yeah. Yeah, I was. I wasn't. Yeah. So I thought it was quite funny. To be, oh, a lot of water on the screen. Oh, to ink already. Wow. Yeah, it was a very messy drawing in pencil, if you notice. I was, I went over and over and over it again and again. And it got a bit like, oh, a bit confusing. So, yeah, but it was. It turned out all right. I made a couple of mistakes. I will show you those, <laughs> as always. Got to, you know, you got to point out the mistakes as, you know, that you make so that you don't make them. Uh, but then again, you probably wouldn't make them because you're not as daft and um, untalented like me. You're probably all sitting there going, oh, Chris, why do I bother watching this? Why do I bother wasting my hours watching this garbage? Yeah. So, um, I had to draw Seamus in it. I know he's not really... Well, he's not, what am I saying? He's not really... He's, he's nothing to do with... <laughs> Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka and the rabid Oompa Loompa. No, I just wanted to draw him. I, I just enjoy drawing. Oh, I got, I, I'm having the second book back of the new uh, Seamus Gumshoe uh, adventure. Hasn't been published just yet. I had the first one back and I had a lot of criticism from my family. Well, it wasn't criticism. It was, um, yeah, it was criticism, actually. No, it wasn't. It was, they just suggested a few things and I thought, oh, okay, I'll went back in and did those and uh, changed it a bit and it was only like the cover and some colours of words and things like that you know so I've sent for another copy now just to see hopefully this one will be good and it'll pass their scrutinising eye that they have they all think it's an absolute waste of time that I will not make any money from it just like they think of this video, these videos I do they think I'll never make any money from it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I do. I, I don't. Didn't really start to do it because of that. I just wanted to do it for a laugh, because it looked a lot of fun when I saw Bill making stuff doing it. I thought, oh, that looks good fun. That. So that's how I started. But then now it's like, I'd like to do this, you know, full time kind of thing. You could do one a week, couldn't you then? Well, then again, would you get fed up with one, you know, one a week? You'd go, oh, it's a bit much, isn't it? You know, I barely want to watch these ones. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, nothing much has happened over the past three, three weeks because I was in bed for two, uh, for eight days. Blinking egg, I tell you, look, anybody tells you that um, COVID, oh, it's, you know, it's all right now. You're only in bed for about two days linking not my daughter got it Daisy um, no calf and three days later she was up and around and she's back in work but me oh my goodness me knocked me off my feet for eight days but then again you see my wife keeps telling me I suffer with um, something nobody else has I don't think well no other woman has it's called man flu and if I if if you catch man flu it knocks you out for weeks. They betted that it could be four weeks before you get off the couch. But um, my, my wife and her friend, whose husband also has got it, and uh, 
I was determined to get out of bed after eight days, you know, because I just do. I wanted to prove them wrong. But blinking heck, it's not been easy to 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 get over. I've got to admit, it's really wrecked my chest. Anyway, you don't want to hear all about that boring stuff. Uh, you want to see this drawing done, don't you? Yeah. So there was a lot of work in this one. There was a lot of fiddly bits, and I had to think carefully as well, especially when it comes to the colour, because oh, making these you know separate um, separate so that you know they don't clash and meld into one kind of thing it was quite difficult there you go see he's got Willy Wonka that the, is a uh, monogram on his uh, on the motorbike little Vespa scooter that is excuse me for a second everybody <coughs> <coughs> I might cut that out actually because that was horrible. Do you know I haven't coughed for a couple of days and today I do my voiceover and what happens? Coughing like a 60 year old smoker. Ugh, I mean. Oh, I do apologise everybody, I'm sorry. I, I, I will edit out the cough. Or then again I might, you know. I might exaggerate it slightly. <laughs> Make it sound worse than it actually is. Might add a little, you know, sound in there as well. It's <laughs> just to make it funny. Why am I telling you this now? It would be funny if I hadn't told you. Oh dear, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, so um something really ha funny happens to the corner picture. I thought I'd try a different co colour. Um in the you know in the corner picture to make it liven it up a little bit but it did something to the camera the color did i'm sure don't know what it did but now yeah, i have watched some tv over the last three weeks i can tell you man alive i really have i watched um there's a cartoon not a cartoon it's an animated film called uh, the adams family and uh, they did the, i don't know when they did it oh it's funny it's very funny. It's really nicely designed as well. It's not just a generic 3D movie as all the rest are. They have actually put some effort into um, designing the characters. Anyway, they did a second one. I didn't know that. It was on telly. It was on um, the telly. So I, I, I watched it on catch up. It's very funny. Very, very funny. I think Lurch is my favourite character in it. Although Uncle Fester is very, very funny too. He does turn into an octopus in this one, in the second one, which is quite hilarious. Yeah, yeah. This is this shows you how good it was, right? He never does this, but Harry came in and saw me watching it and sat down and watched the rest of it with me. I was like, oh wow, it must be all right. Uh, he caught COVID and all, and he's not been well and. And my daughter Rosie's in bed at the moment ill, so we presume it's COVID. I tested for it and it came up with two big thick red lines as if you'd gone with a giant mark and gone <laughs> You've got COVID <laughs> You know, and my daughter and Daisy it was the same. Oh. oh I was so gutted when I found out I got Do you know what? I have I don't go out very much because I work at home as an illustrator and I, I suffer with, um, what do you call that thing when you're afraid of going outside? Not outside, but you know, I can't remember what you call it now. Is it arachnophobia? No, no. I think that's, that's fear of goats, isn't it? Oh no, that's agoraphobia. <laughs> I'm sorry, agoraphobia. Angoraphobia? No? Oh, come on, that was alright for a spontaneous joke. No, yeah, agoraphobia. Yeah, I don't. I don't like going out very much. Um, it's all to do with your depression and your anxiety thing, isn't it? Anyway, I went out, didn't I? <laughs> and we had a cup of tea and a cafe. Somebody in there was. We had the dreaded lurgy. Yeah, some. Oh, he just must have gone out with it and not felt well. Or I, I, then again. Who's to know? You don't necessarily feel ill, even if you got it at first, do you? Yeah, so... It's put me off going out now, though, I tell you. 
Angoraphobia. Come on, that was funny. Angora the goat. No, oh, never mind. Oh, I'll never make a. I'll never make a com Be a comedian. That's for sure. There is a funny character on YouTube at the moment called Ismo. Have you seen him from Finland? I think it is. Oh look, we're on the computer now. I'm just showing you how I sc scanned it in, and then I'll adjust all the you know the brightnesses and everything. <laughs> I did this right. Thought great, done all that now, you know, and um, went to print it out. My printer decided to snot all over the place, marks all up the side, and I was like. Oh no! You know, and these these laser printers are not cheap. Uh, it's made by Oki. <laughs> <laughs> Does sound like something you've done in your pants, doesn't it? I've just done an Oki. Anyway, yeah, and it didn't work, did it? And I thought, oh no, I'm gonna have to go out and buy a new flipping printer now. It's like you know, a few hundred quid. Um. Anyway, then I looked it up and I, I cleaned it the next day, cleaned the barrels and everything and all this business. And you never know what, I only went and fixed it. It works again, hopefully. Well, it does. I've printed this out. I'll print, I've printed this out without any marks on it. So there, that was a bit of good news. Don't normally fix things. Normally make things worse. <laughs> so I was fixing little bits of his trousers. Uh, I'd made mistakes and I go in and I tweak them and fix them, tidy things up a little bit, you know, with Photoshop, just so that it doesn't drive me bonkers. Yeah, I was telling you about Ismo on, on YouTube, he's a very, very funny um, fella from Finland. He tells very funny, uh, not jokes, they're not, he's not, you know, he, just observations. Yeah, oh, up to colour now, see, off to colour. So yes colouring it all in <laughs> you, what you don't realise is I've just turned the, the recording off and just checked that every, everything I've said so far has recorded and happily it has thank goodness it has so yeah it's uh, sometimes it throws a hissy fit and doesn't work anyway so how is everybody? I hope you're well. I hope you're having a happy weekend or a week or whatever, wherever you are while you're watching this. Thank you ever so much for watching, by the way. Um, yeah, is it my last one I did with Godzilla? That's that. I had over 200 views for that one, which I thought was fantastic for me. Then it gets a bit depressing when you look at other people having, you know, literally tens of thousands of views and it's like okay <laughs> well maybe one day it'll get there like that maybe one day but yeah hopefully it'll be okay as i said in the beginning i'd love to do this you know be able to do this once a week a video once a week um but you need the support for it, don't you, to do it, so... And it's also whether it's really, you know, it's what people want, isn't it? You know, you might be sitting there going, yeah, you know, watch it for the laugh, but... It's not exactly educational. <laughs> oh, dear. But you never know. You never know. One of these days. Hey, is a fella... Uh, there's a bloke I've I've been watching on YouTube called um, AJ um, and he's got a channel called the Y files you know I don't I don't watch the spooky ones he does on there you know ghosts and things but he does a lot of uh, really cool stories he's you know obviously not all of the well vast majority of the, the vast majority of the stories you know are a load of gumph but he tells them in such a compelling way. <laughs> he's very, very watchable. Yeah, and he's got this fish called Hecklefish. Oh, it's funny. It is absolutely hilarious. The, the f he's a bit rude now and again, though, the fish. <laughs> he's a goldfish. And he says some terrible things. But he's very, very funny. Yeah, uh, give that a watch, everybody. It's called The Y Files. It's, if you like conspiracy stuff and aliens and monsters and... You know, I only watch it for a laugh. It's because you don't take it seriously. But some people do, though. Some people, you know, 
really take these things seriously, don't they? But I've always been, a, you know, when I was a kid, they fascinated me because my dad taught me to see it always comes down to a movie. <laughs> when I was a kid, uh, what was it 1977, was it? When uh, Close Encounters came out? And he taught me to see that, you know, uh, Clo Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I didn't fully understand it when I was a kid, you know. <clears throat> anyway, it came out twice. It came out on a re-release, didn't it? And he took me to see that one as well. And uh, ever since then, it was like, you know, anything on the telly, on the news, unidentified flying objects have been seen in the sky. You know, and I'd be glued to the telly, going, oh, wow, it's aliens. You know, my dad's going, you do know they're not real, don't you? And I'm sitting there, they're not. <laughs> Easily influenced me. <laughs> you watch one movie and that's it, you know. No, I, I don't... <laughs> Don't believe for an instant that aliens are real. <laughs> oh, I wish they were. I do. It'd be great, you know. But I'm scared if if they were, you know, they'd be the nasty ones, wouldn't they? Here we go. Look, getting back to the the drawing, I had to figure out their faces. You see, they're, and they're orange, aren't they? In in the um, the movie. So I had to use kind of two types of green, one for the eyebrows and one for the the hair and swap them alternately so that uh, they, they stand apart from each other a little. And plus um, I used a purple on Willy Wonka because orange and purple are, what's it, is it complementary colours? I think it is, isn't it? <clears throat> and um, I had a bit of a problem because Seamus Gumshoe is all brown and the Oompa Loompa's suits are brown and they're actually chocolate brown to be honest uh, but I had to compromise and use a what is that a cream uh, no beige color so you know it, it didn't clash with uh, Seamus's clothing so, yeah a lot of, you know you gotta it's funny isn't it you're doing this for a laugh and you're doing it hopefully to, you know to encourage people to draw but you still got to think about what you're doing and what colours you're using, you know, and how you're using thicker lines at the front, closest to you, and then as they go backwards, they, you know, you use a thinner pen. And it's, you've got to keep all these things in mind. And I do get sidetracked. If I start thinking of something else, I will make terrible mistakes. Now, here was a bit of um, a quandary. <laughs> Should I use gore? In the mouths of the Oompa Loompa zombies and I gave in and went yeah okay I did I couldn't resist it they've been chewing on some bones they've given up on chocolate and they now crave human flesh yeah so chasing chasing them I don't know where they're chasing them yeah, works out. it's working all right. It's it's quite a fun drawing. Yeah, I, I tried to do everything uh, that Willy Wonka owns, kind of thing, a purpley colour, just so that it um, you know works with the orange above and stands off. I was quite happy with the scooter. I'd see them on, on you know on on, uh, on online. I thought, oh, that's lovely, that is, you know, they're really smashing looking machines. I don't, I can't remember what year they were from. I, I can't uh, ride a bike, see, or, or bicycles, really. I have had bicycles in the past, I've never ridden a motorbike. The reason being is my balance is absolutely appalling. I, I you know, I've got all the balance of a drunk slug. And, uh,. Yeah, the amount of times I fell off my bike going to college. So I had to give up on that after a while, because I went over the handlebars twice, crashed into a car once, although he crashed into me actually, it wasn't my fault. Um, yeah, I, yeah, it was terrible. I was awful on it. So I'm putting some shading in now. Uh, make, it, make it look, you know, like there's a, 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 a light source. So yeah, nobody's sending me in any drawings. 
I wish you would. I wish you could send me in some drawings. Hey, listen, I wonder if, if I did a live um, feed, you know, that you might draw with me. I don't know. What do you think of that idea? It's, let me know in the comments. Hey, little did I know that comments and likes, although I ask about them every single uh, video, please leave a like and subscribe, or, you know, and a comment, but how much they... Um, how important they are to the what do I see that people call it the algorithm I don't quite understand what all that's about algorithms yeah um, I remember Dan does did a video on it and it's like you know some sort of higher power that works inside YouTube you know that um, either likes your videos or it doesn't and if it doesn't you don't stand a chance so it wasn't like me at all. <laughs> but then again, I'm not surprised at you. <laughs> yeah, it, it's very odd, you know. It's as if it's, you know, everything you do is controlled or um, overseen by this uh, piece of software. So I find it very odd. I, <laughs> I really do. Anyway. So I don't think the algorithm is very happy with me, but if you comment, I've heard, if you comment and leave a like, for some reason it makes the algorithm happy. <laughs> and it likes your videos more. And I don't know, I don't know what it does then. Does it go, oh, a lot of people are interacting with him. Let's, let's give him a bit more juice. I what does he give you? <laughs> Surely it's down to people's choice. Not, not a piece of software. I said when they talk about AI, I think, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I think about Terminator and stuff like that. But I'm not sure now. <laughs> so I think my my channel's controlled by AI. Anyway, and I think it's out to get me. <laughs> not in a nice way either. <laughs> oh, Mickey. So you join, you know, you join YouTube and you think to yourself, oh, you know, if I enjoy doing this. And if this goes well, you know, in years to come, it might make me a little bit of money or something, you know. And then you realise as you're going through it, I'm fighting a computer here for some reason. <laughs> I am battling Silicon Valley. Oh, I don't know. Just, I don't know. Bonkers, if you ask me. But yeah, it's coming along now, and it you're adding the Posca now. I do enjoy this little bit. Although this Posca pen really played up when I was doing it. It's been a right pain in the bottom. Or as we say, the bum. Pain in the bum. Absolute pain in the bum. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's coming together. It's nearly there now. I am going to show you a little bit when I scanned it into the computer because uh, some of you did say that um, you th you know you thought that was interesting. So as long as it's interesting, as long as it inspires you to have a go at drawing, because like, like I've said before, if I you know can draw a little bit like this, anybody can. So have a go, have a go, and enjoy yourself. Ah, here we go on the computer now. So I show you how you know I change all the vibrance and the saturation of the drawing. And then the brightness and the contract, I'll tweak that a little bit. And then I'll go in and... Oh, I'm just cleaning up the white around the edges. That's what that is. Yeah. And then I'll go in and add a little bit of white where it needs going. Because sometimes the Posca doesn't come up clear enough, if you know what I mean. Here we go, look. Here we go. In the white, and the whites in the eyeballs and on the cheeks. There you go. Just, just to cheer it, you know, just to make it a little bit more pronounced. Little bits and pieces I've seen as I'm going along, I think, oh, I need to fix that. I need to fix his eye. I did, don't know what I did to his eye. But yeah, add a little bit to his window, just to make it look round. You know, concaved? That's what that was for. I think it worked slightly. It was all right. And a little bit, you know. Just tweaking, just fixing little bits and pieces. Now there's lots of software out there you can use. You don't have to have Photoshop. You know, I've uh, there's a there's a 
Oh, I think I mentioned them last time. I can't remember what their names were now, but they use different software. They don't use Photoshop. And it looks just as good. I just I've had Photoshop since I was in college, so... <laughs> I don't pay for it. I, I just had a disc with it on. I bought a disc donkeys years ago. I think it's number four or something. I can't remember. Yeah, I don't know why I faffed around with my signature, because I got rid of all this later on. <laughs> I just did and then just put my normal one in. I don't know why I was doing that. Mucking about. Messing about. Yeah, thank you everybody for watching. I really do appreciate your support. I hope the videos encourage you to have a go at drawing. And if you don't draw, I hope they give you a laugh and a giggle. But I am very grateful to you. So please, like I said before, subscribe if you haven't already. And leave a like and um, a comment. And maybe one of these days, the algorithm will say, I like you, Chris. I like your channel, mate. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> I don't know if the algorithm actually talks like that. But yeah, thank you everybody for watching. I'm very grateful to you. I hope to see you soon. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <coughs> Come again when you've got less time. Hope you enjoyed the video. I didn't. It was rubbish. Anyway, thanks for watching. <coughs>